A couple of videos ago, I made a tutorial on how to use the pen tool in Photoshop. And I said I would show you how to make quick little animations where you just kind of manipulate the lines a little bit using the pen tool. And that's what this video is. Hello everyone, Miss Art Garden here. And today I'm going to show you how to animate with the pen tool. And if you need a refresher, I'll put the card to that old video up. Maybe it already ran, I don't know. <laughs> But uh, I'll also put a link in the description below and I'm sure there's a million tutorials on how to use the pin tool in Photoshop. So uh, I've already have my sketch. I sketched out a face and I have the paths laid over that face. And I'm going to actually get rid of my sketch layer and make a frame one layer. And then I'm going to stroke the paths. Uh, let's stroke them blue so that'll be a little bit easier to see. And then I'm going to change my opacity. And this is common in animation where you have you know, your previous, what you've done underneath the current one, even in the old days, they had like transparent sheets so they can see the old drawing when they're drawing the new one and so on. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this path, duplicate path right here, and we can call this frame two. And this first one can be frame one. We can rename it frame one just to be consistent. So frame two will be changed a little bit. And we're not doing a lot with this um, animation. We're just going to make her smile a little more and close her eyes. So she's, you know, closing her eyes. I have people sometimes, I don't know, close their eyes and smile. Why not? <laughs> That's the animation. So the first thing we're going to start, um, these will need to go up a little bit. And the, the corners of these will need to go up a little bit. And this top part will eventually need to be brought down to about here. And the bottom one will kind of just barely go up and uh, in there. And then the smile will gradually change a little bit as well. So those are the steps we need to take. And we'll do this probably in about five layers. Okay, so the first thing we have, I think I've already, <laughs> I don't know why I hid that frame one layer. We need that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, anchor point and I'm just going to kind of move it up. We're just going to cram it up there. <laughs> we'll be getting rid of it before the end. And we'll do that on both sides. Then I'm going to hold command option shift and move this down about that far. And then we're going to move this one down the same-ish length. You can have Photoshop actually see that little purple line. <laughs> I guess that's Photoshop trying to help me make it more symmetrical or whatnot. And then uh, let's erase these top parts here of the eye. And I'm actually going to go in and do like a little precision insert of, a, of an anchor point here and here and then here. And then we're going to delete these top two parts here and here. Okay, so then we have that down and then she looks a little bit sleepy-eyed. You can take away that frame one, <laughs> you can see. But that's normal. And then I'm going to move this one up just a little tiny bit. So I'm going to gra grab that, bring it up, grab that, bring it up like that. We won't have her smile on the first frame. She'll start smiling on the second frame. So that's the first frame edited. <laughs> so uh, now we're going to make a new layer, call it frame two, and go ahead and stroke that frame. We'll, we'll get rid of this one. Uh, we'll stroke this one and what, what, what opacity do I have that on? 16? Okay, we'll turn this one down about the same level. Now we're going to go to pass frame two. Oh, I just, I just edited frame one instead of two. Oh, it's okay. We're going to move frame down. Uh, nobody will, will know that I did it except for the fact I have video evidence now. <laughs> That's okay. Hopefully that's not too confusing. So that's frame one. That's frame two. Duplicate the layer and this one is going to be frame three. Then I'm just going to click in there. Now we have frame two here for reference and we're going to move these down a little bit. I'm going to move this part up. I'm basically just going to get rid of these parts now and just smooth them out. So I'm going to move it up here. Maybe move this over a little bit to smooth it out. And then this one is sticking out a bit just from where I did it, but that's okay. In general, you just make it work so it's more smoothed out like that. So that will probably be it for the eyelashes. That'll just be what they look like. Maybe I'll bring these a little little tiny bit in. It wouldn't hurt just to kind of give them, we want an arced look, but not super arced. This is going to come down. Each of these are going to come down. I'll grab them both at the same time this time and just move them down a little bit more. And you don't want to go too slow with blinking because then it kind of looks dreamlike, a little bit strange. So uh, I'm going to go with that. And then I'm going to bring this up and then this up a little bit. And the last one, it'll be probably meeting on that area there. And now we're going to bring her smile up a little bit because this is the frame that I talked about doing that. So both corners are just going to be dragged up a little tiny bit. So that was, oh, well, let's get rid of these uh, eye things. We don't want that. Uh, I'll just go ahead and erase these anchor points up here. Okay, so that looks very, very silly. And also, if I haven't mentioned these, I'm leaving these in there because it doesn't really matter. I'm going to fill these in when I do the coloring, which I'll show you how to do as well. And I guess I should blow this out. 
that because I've zoomed in. So a little bit silly looking of a face, <laughs> but we're almost done. We just have basically one more frame to do. So I guess we did this in four. Duplicate path one more time. We're going to hide this, make another frame three. Oh, I, I didn't name this one. This is frame four. Frame four. There we go. And we're just going to do our final little edit. So I'm going to blow this up again. I'm going to erase the eyes completely and we're just going to move these, make this a little bit bigger. So it's like it's met up with that line. Uh, make this a little bit bigger too and then move it down so it's over that line there and then move it down so it's over that line there and we can just erase that line. So that's her happy smiling uh, closed eye face and we'll do this last little tiny bit more of a smile like that. Uh, and that is it. So one, two, three, four. So she looks little you know happy and she's smiling and we've got that very simple animation okay so uh we can just repurpose these frames i'm going to get rid of my paths real quick and i'm going to go in boost all these to 100 percent and erase the data that's in them right now just uh we'll restroke them <laughs> and I'll give you a little bit of a, a preview because the next video will be showing how to kind of color real fast with the action tools so basically what i'm going to be doing for all of these is um here's frame one I'll just uh, go ahead and mark that. While I'm here, I'll fill in this so we have um, the eyelashes done. And then I'll be going through and making a color layer here. And um, I'll just be coloring it in. So make a color layer, go up to frame one. We'll select an area. I have a preset skin tone here. I'm going to hit F6, and that's the actions I'm talking about. I'll go through in another video and I'll be able to put a base color in. And I'm just going to put a base color in for uh, <laughs> this whole thing. And I'll meet you at the end of this and show you the animating part. Okay, so I changed the um, frame ratio because usually I miss this window when <laughs> I frame it up. So hopefully you'll be able to see this. I'm gonna go through how to do the animation. I have everything with the line art and the color. And what I did was I just put the base colors in for everything and then I duplicated them and then I just um, changed this part. I, uh, I just basically filled it in with the rest of the skin color every time the frame changed. So it all matches up. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I also grouped them so they'll just be a little bit more manageable in this little window window here. Um, I can blow this up a little bit so it's a little easier to see. So now what you're going to need to do is go to window and so you can see it <laughs> since I've changed that recording ratio. And then I'm going to go to timeline right here and this will bring up the little animation thing. So I'm going to create frame animation. This is exactly what I want and I'm going to make it um, 0.1 second delay <laughs> and then uh, right here this little uh, duplicate I think it's going to get cut off. Duplicate selected frames. Didn't quite get my uh, capture perfect this time, sorry. So I'm going to get rid of group one, put group two up. For this part, I'm going to zoom out so we can see it. Um, you know, so that's already the animation. We're going to duplicate this one, three. I'm going to get rid of two, hide two, and, and uh, open up three. We got the squinty eye one. And then we're going to duplicate it again. And we're going to hide this and bring up four. So these are our four to bring the animation up and um, to go through the animation. I can't speak today, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, so the first one, if you do it now, uh, it's on once, but say you did it forever, you get a really weird spazzy, <laughs> she's having a little bit of a, a twitchy face day. So we're gonna wanna change the times. Uh, I'll make this first one one second, then it'll go here, here, and then here, and then I'm going to insert one more frame before it jumps back into here, but I'm not actually going to insert both of these. I'm going to insert this one here, number two. I'm just going to hit this button again after selecting it. It'll duplicate it. It'll put it right after two, though, so I'm just going to move it after the five. And then before we finish this off, go to the fourth, the last one, and I, I forgot to put that on as maybe uh, two seconds. There we go. So we'll watch the animation in full now. And there's one second, and then she smiles, and then she opens her eyes and then she smiles and then she opens her eyes. Maybe we'll change this to like five seconds, uh, not 0.5, actual five. <laughs> um, but you get the general idea. So that's how you would do a very simple animation. Uh, using the pen tool helps out a little bit, makes it go a little bit faster so you don't have to continuously redraw. I just thought I would show that because anytime I use my animations, I do this kind of stuff. Although I, maybe I'll wave the hair around or something. We'll, we'll, 
you can go more advanced. <laughs> this is just the intro. So uh, hopefully that helped. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. In my next video, I'll be showing how to use actions to help you color super, super fast. And anyways, have a great day. Take care and I will see you in the next video.